Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Today we're gonna to be doing this 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. We're gonna be doing new speakers and also a sub and an amp. panel we're going to be using today is a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. I'm going to be showing you how to take this on and off. First step we're going to do is you pull this back here and when you push here, when you push right there, see how it just pop that out and then boom you can just pull that bad boy out. Behind there is an eight millimeter you're going to have to get to. Okay. Next step is you're going to want to take your plastic pry tool and you're going to want to just start very gently prying up. And you don't want to do it too hard. You just want to keep And super gentle, especially on this one. This one's a lot different than the other ones because right here is a little thing that sits underneath this. So you want to be super careful. Is it like a hook? Yeah, just like that. There you go. See it? And it has a little hook underneath here. See? Your hand? Yep. Okay. And then here's the back side of it here. Mm -hmm. So and then you want to unplug this bad boy. Okay. Okay. The top is an eight millimeter. Top. Well, I guess I got a seven millimeter in there. So, okay, top is an eight millimeter. Okay, you mm -hmm. start recording on that one. Okay, stop. You got two, one here and one here. Well, and they are, these are 10 millimeters, mm -hmm. and these are super tight, and there's two of them. So coarse you're, thread. And they're a very coarse thread, that's what they look like. So they're very tough to get out. If you don't have a very powerful drill, it will be tough to get them out. Up. Next step is you're going to basically want to pry out right here. You can push kind of in. This one's a little tougher than the other door panels. I don't know why, but you just basically push in right here and then pull out. Mm -hmm. That's how that connects in there. Okay, and right. inside of there is a seven millimeter. Right there's a seven millimeter right there. Let me see the back of the. And here's what the back side looks like. That's why you have to kind of push in right here so that, that goes tab. and then that pulls out. And then it slides in. Yep. Be careful not to drop that in. Seven millimeter here. Mm -hmm. Little one. Then down on the bottom underneath here, you're gonna go down way underneath here. And there's two seven millimeters. And they are at a weird angle. There's one. The second one, you're gonna have to use a right angle because this piece here, because there's no other way to get it out because the angle that they put it at and it's so close here, you can't get your drill in there. So it's right in the front. There's the last seven millimeter there. So we got two here, two under here, seven millimeter in here, two tens, one eight. Ford loves to do all different bolts, all different nuts. That's um, crazy. So you can basically start over here, get your hands underneath, pull out. This one's never been off because it's a brand new vehicle, it's only got 2,000 miles on it. So it's gonna pop really hard. Easy. Oh, and then you'll basically wanna lift up and then pull out like so you want to come around here in here you have two plugs one here another one right here and they're pretty easy to unplug um basically there you go Unlock this button. bad boy right here what you'll want to do is you click right here you see that click mm -hmm. right here and this whole thing will come out like so mm -hmm. don't do it any other way and then the back of the door panel looks like this and that's pretty much how you get these And that's the factory speaker. Basically you have a seven millimeter here, seven millimeter here, and a seven millimeter here. And then you wanna unplug, this is the factory speaker that you'll want to unplug. Okay. 
your stock speaker. Weighs like one pound, not. So it weighs about one ounce. There's your magnet. There's your magnet on the audio dynamic speakers. So here's our audio dynamic speaker and here's our factory Ford speaker out of a 2021 Bronco. Tell me you guys can see the difference. Huge difference. These are what we're gonna be using for the fronts. 725602 for Metra, speaker harness, and a HA825605 speaker adapter. Metra also makes these as well. So the speakers that we're going to be using are Audio Dynamics 2000 series, the ADCX624. Those are the speakers we're going to be using in this as well. Drill a hole to run the speaker wire through to connect to the back of the speaker. And then this is what the front will look like. And then that's the speaker harness that we're using that will attach into the factory plug. We have it all mounted back in. Three seven millimeters, bolts in like stock. We're going to put some foam over this. We've zip tied these. This is where you plug into the factory part with your connector. You're gonna cut these off and that way it looks all OEM and clean. All right, so everything is all attached and should be working good now. All right, we're gonna start with these rear door panels on this 2021 Bronco Sport. We're gonna show you how to remove those. Um, first things first, right here, you're gonna have to remove this panel right here. Take your hook tool and pull this piece out. Okay, so we basically pulled up on this piece here with our plastic pry tool here. And we pried up on it until it finally came out. And then you have this little piece that hangs out underneath here. And you'll wanna unplug this plug right here. The back side, so you can see where all the clips are. And you want to be super careful when you're pulling this out just push on it ever so slightly don't just yank on it or hit it real hard inside of here you're gonna have a 10 millimeter here and a 10 millimeter here these are the two 10 millimeters you're going to take out and they have some extremely aggressive thread pattern and they're in there extremely tight so it will take some power to get them out of there it's here to the bottom of the door panel we're also going to have a looks like a seven and there's also one over towards the front over here it's kind of hard to see because i can't get in there but there's another one right here and there's one right here so basically you have one here and one over here underneath the door panel. You get this bad boy out over here because of the angle that it's at is I had to use this because you can't get a drill in here and you have to use an extension because it sticks back in here so far. I mean, it's literally, that's how big my thumb is. That's how far it back is. But you can't get the drill in here, it'll hit. So I just use a right angle right here and it is a seven millimeter and then you have a seven millimeter here. I'll show you what those look like. And here's what the seven millimeter that looks like that comes out of there you have two of them we're gonna take this reflector off and it's pretty easy you can just slide your nail right in there and pop boom and then get that bad boy out of there just make sure you want to go on this side right here and just be very gentle with it i believe inside of there yep there's another seven millimeter way back in there the best scenario is to use this because it's so far back in there as well here's a seven millimeter that came out of there so I will tell you, this piece right here is a nightmare because it is so tight in here, there's no way to get off. What I did was I pushed really hard right here and it, pop, it popped this part back with the two clips on it. So I basically just put a lot of pressure right here and then it pushed like this and went out. So I'm not gonna say that's the right way to do it or that's gonna work every time, but you have to get to this bolt back here. So this bolt right here, believe it or not, is an eight millimeter. So you've got 10 millimeters, seven millimeters eight millimeters ford is notorious for that i mean it's like you couldn't just use one size bolt here's the bolt you're going to take out 
which is an eight millimeter. Not to be confused with 10 millimeter, not to be confused with seven millimeter. So Ford, for God's sakes, stop doing this. You've done it for years. All right, so we went ahead and just pulled. You just get your fingers behind here anywhere and just pull, the whole door panel will come off. Get the whole door panel, you'll have to raise up to pull down and then you will be left with all of these connections in the back. This piece comes off, well, at least, at least, at least the way it used to be. Yeah, you just pull out and then boom, it comes off. So, and then when you want to put it back in, you just basically slide it back in there. Um, and this, this harness is disconnected here. So that's pretty much it. I'm pulling it off. There's the back side so you can kind of see all the connectors and how it attaches and detaches. ton of sound dampening let me tell you this is the actual back side of the door panel and this is your lovely factory speaker So this is the plug here. It's a green with brown, it looks like, and gray with purple. This is the plug. We're gonna show you the adapter that we use to plug right into this. We are also gonna use a Ford adapter to unbolt this and rebolt our speaker in. So that way we keep everything looking OEM and it will unbolt if she ever wants to take it back out. We try not to cut up anybody's factory speakers or try to use anything other than just using actual speaker harnesses and speaker adapters because to me that's the correct way to do it so it can always go back to OEM. So these bolts that they have on the speaker are a seven millimeter. This is your factory lovely beautiful speaker from Ford. And look at the size of that magnet. 25 watts at 4 ohm. Do, we're gonna be using these speaker adapters today from Metra, they are an 8825605, and from Harmony, they are a HA825605. So basically they're gonna be the same part number, but one is made by Harmony, one is made by Metra. I have both of them today, I'm gonna to use these. So I'm gonna put the links down below on what you can use for both of these as well. They're both about the same price and both about the same quality, so. Your only thing you're probably gonna fight with is which one is in stock and which one you can get faster. But these are the speaker adapters we're gonna be using to mount the speakers today. This is the speaker harness we're gonna be using is a 7256.02. This is what it looks like right here. And then you're gonna plug that into the actual plug right here. And then that will just slide right in and give you your speaker harness right there speakers we're going to be using today. These are the Audio Dynamics. We're going to be using these speakers in the rear. And we're going to be going with the 2000 series in the front. These are the 1000 series for the rears. Coaxial. And then we're going to be showing you how to put those into the speaker adapters and the wiring harnesses as well. The connector, we got that connected. We drilled a hole through here so you can run the wire through because the plug is on the outside. We went ahead and mounted this back in here and there's plenty of depth because the window doesn't go down to where this hole is. So we have this hole here that we put through so our harness can go through right there. I'm going to put some dynamite right here over the top of that. This is our factory plug. We're going to zip tie this in. This is your actual speaker wire harness. That's the factory speaker wire. That's pretty much it to get her in there. So we have this on here. We have this zip tied in. We did some foam over here so the hole won't leak. Um, pretty much everything's ready. We're gonna put the door panel back on. Okay. 
Okay, so we had to remove the intake and the battery to get back here to get to this grommet so that we could push the wire through. Um, it's the only way to do it. They only give you this much room between this and the battery to get back there. Ford definitely does not do a very good job of designing things to be able to get around other parts. Hey, after a uh, sweaty ass Beavis over here decided to slick back his hair for the 80s Miami Vice party, we finally got the wire through. It's all this. Start this uh, this tractor trailer, and the guy's put. He's like, oh, I bought a, put a new battery in it. And it's not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that to listen. Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna start calling them Goldilocks. But it was the battery <laughs> dead. So. Ah! So over here on the driver's side, these are the wires that we tagged into. You're gonna see that they're braided. Sorry about the dark. They're braided, but they are the exact same colors going into the harness into here that come out into here. So those are gonna be your two wires that are gonna be cross braided here. And they're always gonna be cross braided coming into here. So when you cut this open, you'll see how they're crossed. Those are your two speaker wires right there. Here is the amplifier wires, all installed. Try to make it look as OEM as possible. Amplifier is down there with our WaveTech line driver piece. That way we can bump up the preamp voltage. Okay, there's the sub. We're gonna put the sub loading over this way so that way she doesn't have to worry about her stuff smacking up against it. Thank <laughs> you. 